What's up everybody, MacBoy here. Um, today, I want to discuss something that I've been getting requests and questions for almost my whole career on YouTube, and that is how to use Crossover. And I know everyone has heard about Crossover. Uh, basically, it's an application that lets you run Windows executable files on your Mac uh, without installing a Windows operating system or anything like that, and it takes just a few seconds and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to run executable files on your Mac without installing Windows XP or Vista through Parallels, VMware or whatever uh, just by Crossover and to do that I'm going to start off fresh and I'm going to launch Crossover with you. So I have Crossover 8 Pro from Code Reavers and once you launch it you should get this welcome uh, screen which is where you should start okay um, over here insert and install CD or use the crossover software installer so this is where you're gonna get, need to go click on this link right here crossover software installer and you should get this little dialog box or dialog win window that is an installer for application now this uh, um, installer starts off with uh, a list of software packages and this is where you can view all the packages that code reavers have provided crossover to use. So they're the main ones like Adobe, Photoshop, there's uh, Internet Explorer, there's Windows Media Player, there's the Microsoft Suite, and uh, there's a little bit more. But if you don't want to run these applications, um, if you want to run something like, uh, I don't know, a Mario game, a Mario game, executable file, and, you, and it's not listed here, uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to click on install unsupported software right here all right then it takes you just uh, just click continue it's uh, telling you you should go check out the trip tips and, tri tips and tricks on their website and we just click continue and what you need to do is you need to create a new bottle now a lot of people have asked me what is a bottle um, let me explain to you a bottle is something that holds uh, the XP that allows like an operating system however it's just a smaller version of it uh, very very small and it holds the environment for the exe executable file to run because it is physically impossible for an executable file to run on the Mac operating system because well that's just not possible that's why uh, you have to create a new bottle which is very very small nothing not gonna take any hard drive space of yours but you have to create a new bottle and you have to set it as Windows XP so just have that new bottle checked off and then click create a bottle and check and continue. Um, you can change the new bottle name to whatever you want. Uh, I'll name this Mario since I'm going to install Mario on this. And then new bottle type, of course, Windows XP. Then click create. It's going to take its time to create the bottle. And once it's done, you should get this little this message right here. Um, it gives you the option to choose installer file or choose installer folder. Since we have the installer file, the executable file that I've downloaded from the internet of the Mario game, uh, you're going to click on choose the installer file. Click install and you should get this drop down menu or drop down window where you can locate your Mario game. And I've gone to the Mario XP 1 to 1 folder where I downloaded that game from and you, have, you see how you have all these files for XP. Now at the bottom there should be a file called Mario XP underscore zero one two one dot exe. That is the executable file, and then select that. Click use this on installer and watch this. Super Mario XP comes up right here, so you can just, as you can see, I'm scrolling through with my arrow keys and I'm playing. So let's say. I want to start a new game. However, my return key on my Mac is not working. You can just set those controls later on. Later on. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So this is Super Mario XP, and you play that game. Let's just close out of this. All right. It's going to finish uh, simulating the Windows Rebuild and then re uh, refreshing the manager. Once it's done, you're finished, and you can locate that game, and you can play all you want. This is how to play with crossover like you just saw. I was playing Mario. The whole storyline was starting and I didn't want to go through all of that because I honestly hate old Mario games. I like the new ones. I really hate the old ones. But yeah, 
that's how you use crossover guys um, I will be doing a couple more tutorials on this in the future uh, because crossover can do just more than that uh, there's Internet Explorer there's sorry there's Internet Explorer there's Windows Media Player and it just has a whole variety of software you can install okay so if you followed that tutorial correctly you should be able to play games or executable files on your Mac through a crossover that's really it guys that's crossover 8 for Mac Pro and guys just to be generous to all of you I will put the link for crossover 8 Pro in the description so you can go and download that and you guys can find games of Windows XP all over the internet so I'm not going to limit down to Mario XP so go ahead and look for that download it and make a new bottle and play whatever your game is alright guys thank you very much for watching and guys before you go please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe on this video rate it five stars please comment anything just a thank you would be much appreciated and subscribe to this channel um, to the right of this video other than the link of the crossover a pro you will find my Twitter where you will get all the backstage news information and anything else you want of MacBoy. You'll find my blog, which I guarantee you'll love. Please don't forget to bookmark that. And you'll find my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Once again, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.